What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there? This is Philip20 today, and I wanted to talk to you about some really cool stuff. Really boring stuff, um, but really cool in my opinion. So what we're going to talk about is cloudy days. How much power that you actually get with about 4,000 watts of cloudy days. The Midnight Classic Charge Controller. And... Uh, What's it doing now? I've got it back. How's it working? Uh, I've had it working for about two or three days. And it's basically, you know, working better. I mean, I'm pretty surprised on how much power I'm making compared to what I was before. Before uh, I sent it off, I was getting like 400 watts during cloudy days. And then now I'm getting like 900, you know, during cloudy days. Sometimes 600. Uh, I've seen it go down to 400 when it's raining hard, but, you know, before when it was raining hard, I've seen it like 80 watts, so, I mean, it's pretty good right now. It's pretty impressive. Um, biggest problem for this area in wintertime is low sunlight. Uh, when I say low sunlight, I mean I haven't had a sunshine day since before the first day of winter, and that's been, what, a week and a half, two weeks? Um... I don't expect to see any sunshine, a full day of sunshine for the next month. I don't expect to see it. I just, that's the way it is in this area. So, being that that said, and we're trying to be off grid, that's nearly impossible with 3,750 watts in this area. So, um, that is a very difficult situation. Uh, to run right now I've been uh, watching with my smartphone because my smartphone has some really cool information on it this is a bar graph and the bar graph is of how many amps we're putting into the battery bank and the voltage the voltage is at the top the red line and then the, the amps going into the batteries is the blue and the yellow line um, now if I had the inverter on then the blue line would be lower and it would be reading how many amps is going in the battery bank and the yellow line would be how many amps I'm manufacturing from the solar array. So, uh, how well are we actually doing is a pretty good question. It's doing okay. It's not doing great. It's doing okay. It's... It's not going to run this house in the wintertime. It's just not going to do it. So, why do I mention that? I mean, uh, it may be a possibility to have a little bit more panels coming up after tax time. It is pretty important to me to continue the off-grid lifestyle. I want to push it to the limit. Uh, we've got... A good sum that has been collected for the tax return and that tax return will return 30% of the credit of every dollar we spent so if I bought the wood for the shelving of the batteries if I bought the batteries if I you know drove to pick up the batteries I mean all that is a part of you know our uh, income tax 30% credit and I have proof that I purchased it. And so basically you're looking at the situation of are you going to just, you know, give up and, you know, stop right there, you know, during the full sunlight days, which happens a lot in the summertime in this area. Um, during full sunlight days, I would make drastically much more power than needed but the biggest problem is is making enough power in the winter time so um we make power uh the current amount of amps that we got going in is 22.1 amps into the 48 volt bank and 
we've got 1,170 watts going into the bank. And it is 12.04. And I can assure you, it's overcast. It's not going to not be overcast for weeks. It's going to be pretty rough. So, being that said, um, moving forward with this project is a difficult thing. But it's a great project. And I wanted to get your thoughts on cloudy days, how much power you guys are making um, during cloudy days. If you guys can tell me, that would be great. I'd really appreciate it. What type of charge controller that you've got. And what you think you would need in your area for the total amount of solar for a cloudy day for you to run your house. Because that's what we're here for. We're trying to run our home. This is Phil 20 with solar power, electricity, and electronics. And I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.